The universe is a vast, unending place with limitless research opportunities within it. It is not until we explore that we uncover something new. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent research projects and discoveries. Archaeologists to scan the Great Pyramid of Giza with cosmic rays It's no secret that the pyramids stand as an incredible architectural feat, and it's fair to say that the Great Pyramid of Giza is perhaps one of the world's most famous landmarks. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the only ancient wonder of the world still to exist intact today, and even in 2022, we are still finding out new secrets about it. A team of researchers plan to use advancements in high-energy physics to give us a window into more information about the pyramids. They plan on scanning the pyramid with cosmic ray muons to map the internal structure. This will allow us to see further into this majestic structure than we ever have before, in a research quest named the Explore the Great Pyramid Mission. Of course, the pyramids have been very well researched, with the interior structure having been mapped out by archaeologists previously. We know that there are a number of different chambers, tunnels and passages alike spread throughout the pyramid, with the pharaoh Khufu's corpse lying near the centre of the tomb. As we have developed more and more technology, we have been able to take a closer look at the inside of the pyramids. These high-tech ventures are helping to drive archaeology forth, pushing us into a new era of discovery. In the late 1960s, Luis Alvarez, an American physicist, used muon tomography to scan the interior of the pyramid, covering 19% of the monument but discovering no new chambers. Muon tomography, the method employed by Alvarez, uses cosmic ray muons to develop 3D images. Muons penetrate further than X-rays do, meaning we can get a deeper look, especially through thicker materials. In 2016 and 2017, this research took another leap, as the Scan Pyramids team also looked at the Great Pyramid. This team employed muon tomography too, a non-invasive research method. However, this study also managed to make use of infrared thermography, alongside a few other handy techniques. Infrared thermography involves using a thermal imager to track the radiation that comes from an object. This is done by monitoring the heat that is emitted. This is then converted into a temperature and is displayed as an image of the temperature distribution. The most significant finding that came from the 2017 research was that the team uncovered what has come to be referred to as the Big Void, a large gap of empty space, hence why it was named the Big Void, that sits above the Grand Gallery. This was considered one of the biggest scientific discoveries of the year and was presented in the journal Nature. Muons are a type of elementary particle. They can be likened to electrons, though they are significantly bigger. As mentioned before, they are particularly useful to tomography because of how far they can penetrate. Cosmic ray muons are formed from high-energy particles called cosmic rays crashing into Earth's atmosphere. They are composed of a mixture of atoms, largely high-energy proton and atomic nuclei fragments. These move into the Earth, from various sources, from the Sun to things outside of the solar system and even from other galaxies. Upon the impact from the collision, secondary particles are produced, some of which are muons. While archaeology is a key field of opportunities for the muon tomography to be used, it has plenty of uses elsewhere too. For example, looking for banned items and materials in containers, or even predicting when volcanoes may erupt again. Like the teams that have researched before, the Explore the Great Pyramid mission will use muon technology to try and glimpse what the inside of the pyramids look like. The difference this time is that the telescope system will be 100 times stronger than it has been in the past. This increased sensitivity will help us look from more angles, giving us a much more complete and comprehensive perspective. The EGP mission will place very large telescope sensors outside of the Great Pyramid, which will move position slightly. The aims of the mission are as follows, to produce a detailed analysis of the internal structure of the pyramid. Unlike previous attempts, this mission will not just tell us what is stone and what is air, but rather tell us the different variations in density. 
The team also hopes to look at structural discontinuities to inform about the construction process. It's hoped that this can be done in just two years due to the nature of the technology and the data that could be collected in what has been assessed as a low-risk research approach. So far, the team is happy and confident with the steps that have been produced and are satisfied that their new approach will give us more information than we have had access to in the past. As we continue to edit and amend research methods, we draw closer and closer to finding the most in-depth answers that we can. Asteroid impacts may spread life to other planets. Extraterrestrial life is something that has undoubtedly piqued everyone's interest at some point during their lifetime. Computer simulations now seem to suggest that microbes within rocks, fired from Earth, could possibly last long enough in space for them to research other places and planets within our solar system. Meaning there is the possibility that we may be sending life to other planets unintentionally. The study has been submitted for publication in the journal Icarus and presents a new perspective on the panspermia hypothesis. The panspermia hypothesis suggests that there is life out there in the universe and that life is moved or distributed through space via meteoroids, asteroids, comets, planetoids and similar astronomical phenomena. This is purely a theoretical concept as we do not have a way to test it. However, some are suggesting that Earth is indeed playing a role in this. Scientists such as Mauricio Reyes Ruiz from the National Autonomous University of Mexico used computer modeling to demonstrate the impact of an asteroid or comet hitting Earth. The idea is that with enough velocity, there would be so much debris released upon the impact that it would be kicked up into space. The research team found that, dependent upon the velocity and whereabouts on the planet it hit, the debris could reach to the orbits of the Moon, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and possibly even further. Their computer model only considered 30,000 years, as this means that any radiation damage could be taken into consideration, though this still means there could be a large amount of matter from Earth containing live bacteria in space. Planetary scientist Dr. Simon O'Toole from the Australian Astronomical Observatory said that the advances in computing technology are truly what facilitated this discovery. He said, In the past we didn't have the processing capacity to carry out these simulations beyond the Moon or Venus. We do not know how long this bacteria could survive in space, but this is an active field of research. Even if they do not survive long, it's baffling to consider microbes from Earth in another planet's orbit. Feasting Black Holes Caught in Galactic Spiderweb NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory has discovered that objects in what has been described as a cosmic web are growing, developing, and feasting. The spiderweb galaxy, given the name J1140-2629, has earned its arachnid-themed nickname thanks to its web-like appearance when it is captured in some optical light images. This is particularly evident in the Hubble Space Telescope images, displaying the galaxies in orange, white, and blue, then the Chandra's data in purple. This spiderweb galaxy lies in the center of a protocluster, meaning that it is an ever-growing set of galaxies and gas that will, at some point, develop into a galaxy cluster. A team of researchers took to examining this spiderweb galaxy, checking for black holes, this series of observations took place over eight days and were conducted using the Chandra X-ray Observatory. The results revealed 14 galaxies in this new Chandra image, as well as some material that looks as though it could be moving towards supermassive black holes. These supermassive black holes could potentially contain hundreds of millions of times more mass than the Sun does. The location of the protocluster has also been a point of interest, with it resting in an epoch that astronomers refer to as cosmic noon. The large number of and sizes of the galaxies within the protocluster have led some to say that this rapid growth is due to the high rate of collision and interactions between galaxies. This results in gas being effectively swept into the black holes that sit in the center of each galaxy. This confusing phenomenon is an example of how incredible our universe is. Such a complex structure exists, and yet we, all the way from Earth, are still trying to puzzle out precisely what is happening.
But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's grow this community and get to solving these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.